What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a couple of little things we're going to be doing. We're going to be working on the crown. I've got to do a bit of vinyl wrapping on that. Yep, vinyl wrapping. Yep. I'm not good at it, but we're going to do it. Um, and I've also got something new for the BMW. It's actually a new key because my old key keeps falling apart. And when I went online to find one, um, I could have got the same one, you know, like the hexagon shaped E46 key. But I found that some company in probably like China. Let's say China do a new shape flip key kind of style and it works with it. So I'm actually going to go down to the key cutters now, get them to cut it out for me. We've got to move a little chip, all that sort of stuff, come back and then we'll do some vinyl wrapping on the crown. All right, so swap the keys over guys. That just pops open, you just need to pry that open. Same with this one. It's not the same as the actual genuine BMW key, so I don't think it is, right? Then this piece here, if it'll let me take it out. Now this piece actually goes in right there. Okay, so it lines all up with all the buttons. See what I mean? Okay, now one thing to remember is that little microchip there is going to have to come out and get glued in there. So this key is gonna be completely useless after this, okay? So if you've got like busted buttons and you don't like the shape of this key and all that, like mine personally, every time I use it to open the boot lid, it falls apart, so I'm getting rid of it. Whereas this one won't. So I'm gonna go in, cut this little chip out. It's just glued in, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see, it's just glued in. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of sticker flex in there, glue it in there. I'm actually gonna wait, I'm gonna take it to the key guy and see if there's a specific glue he wants to use. I don't wanna go use like Sikaflex and then him go, what have you done, man? Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, but just in case. So then that would go on top and he's just gonna cut that out. So let's head down there and get him to cut the new key. All right, so that's the key. Super basic, super simple. Just make sure you've got that, like the microchip, but you're gonna have it anyway because it's gonna be in your key, but essentially you need to forfeit your key to have the other key, all right? Okay, so to uh, to the wrapping of the crown. Now, I am vinyl wrapping the crown, but not the whole thing, okay? Let me show you what the issue is. Okay, so here's the crown. Yes, it's dirty. I've cleaned the bit that I'm gonna be wrapping, but you see how through the grill you can see all that white? It's obviously just the bumper. Uh, I don't like it, it kind of, it messes with me, especially on a really sunny day where you've got good visibility. You can see a big chunk of white back there. So what I've done is I have some knifeless tape that I've just put in that groove right there. Okay, so I've got some gloss black vinyl wrap right here and I'm gonna wrap all of that section and then get the knifeless tape, obviously pull it through, cut that edge, make sure it's all nice and stuck down. And then I shouldn't be able to see it through the grill. So give me two moments. This isn't gonna take very long, but um, I'm just gonna quickly wrap that and I'll show you the end result. All right, there we have it. So the Exacto tape, whatever it is, the knifeless tape, I couldn't really work it well. So I just came through with an Exacto knife and just gave it a cut. Now, it's not the best cut in the world. It's not the greatest job. I'm not a vinyl wrapper. I'm a guy that does YouTube. So <laughs> I think that's gonna do the job. I actually haven't looked yet, but let's close the bottle down and see if it's hidden all that white. 
Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. You can't see any of it now, that's spot on. Now it's just gonna be, you know, like the abyss back there, which is exactly what I was after. I didn't like that. I don't like it, I don't like it. It just, it was just a little trim finish that wasn't perfect in my eyes. So I'm very happy with that. That's turned out really nicely. So sometimes it's just the finishing touches, guys. It's little things that cost almost nothing. I think it was $50 for the whole roll of vinyl wrap. And I've got heaps of gloss black vinyl wrap because I figure there's gonna be a lot of times that we need to black something out on cars, future builds, current builds, whatever it may be. Uh, so yeah, the key, little, little things like, you know, like when you're looking at your dash, something that's nicer on your dash makes the driving experience so much nicer. Having a nice, clean, new, like new style flip key. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of good. And fixing something like that actually just finishes the overall look of the car. So I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's been a little bit of fun. Nice little quick one for you guys. But that is all we have time for today. Like, subscribe, uh, jump in the comments, jump on the Letter Legion Facebook page, uh, Patreon if you want to support the channel, all that sort of stuff. Thank you guys for coming along and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.